hi and welcome to Shrovsa's classes. Today we are going to be doing some important questions on biotechnology. Please subscribe to our channel for more such videos. For any doubt or for full video of this course, call or WhatsApp at the number given on the screen and in the description below. Let's dive into it. Dealing with the first question, we are given that a pure immunoglobulin G antibody was run on an HDS page under reducing conditions. We need to figure out how many bands we would see after staining with Comasi Blue. We are given with four options, only one of them is correct. Let's see what the answer will be. In reducing condition, the light chain of pure antibody IgG separate from the heavy chain due to the breakage of the disulfide bond. Thus, when the antibody was run on an SDS page the two heavy chains formed a single band and in the same way two light chains form the other single band so option b two bands were obtained after staining with comasi blue let's see another question during mitosis, disappearance of the nucleolus is a hallmark of which of the following phases? Metaphase, prophase, anaphase or telophase? I will draw the diagram for you to see in a clear manner. The answer will be number B, prophase. Notice that after prophase, there does not exist any nuclear loss in the adjoining cell. This happens as during mitosis, the nuclear membrane disintegrates to release the chromosomes inside the entire cell, which is the right figure. This is an important phase as all the crossovers happen and the whole crow cell is ready for cell division. Eukaryotic cell containing flagella is among the four options. The answer will be number B sperm. A sperm consists of a head, the neck, the middle piece and a tail or the flagellum. This flagellum causes the flagellar movement enabling the sperm to assist into the female reproductive tract. Moving on to another question. The circulatory levels of estrogen is derived mainly from the among four options. Ladic cells is found in male reproductive system thus number D is not an option. The gonadotrophs are responsible for other release of other hormones. Endometrial epitaphia is certainly not the answer. Thus we are left with theca and granulosa cells. I will explain to you why so. The granulosa cells can synthesize estrogen which are derived by prov on provision of androstadion. These are in turn provided by the theca cells. The circulatory levels of estrogen are thus derived from the thecal and the granulosa cells. Thus the option is number A. Moving on to another question. This is a very important question. Radial symmetry is the characteristic feature of which of the following phyla? 
Arthropoda, Mollusca, Cnidaria, or Chordata. Let's see what the answer will be. Example or a hint is jellyfish. When any plane, which I'm marking it out here, passes through the central axis of an individual and divide the organism into two identical halves, it is called a radial symmetry. This type of symmetry is found in jellyfish, which is of the phylum Cnidaria. Easy enough? Let's try another very important question. In ecotone, some species become abundant and they are called among the four of them. Let's see what an ecotone is. Let us consider two biotic communities. This is number one and this is number two. Now, this area of transition between these two biotic communities of the six, uh, ecosystem is called as an ecotone. It is characterized by the presence of both communities. Let us mark it as, as 1 and 2. Therefore, the total number of species in this ecotone than in the adjoining communities are much more. And this phenomenon is known as the edge effect. Thus, those species which live abundantly in this ecotone are called as eight species. Thus, number four is our option that is correct. Moving on. The next one is kind of my favorite. We are given a set of ten numbers, one to ten. Three numbers are selected at random without replacement. This is very important to consider. Now we need to find the probability that the sum of this selected number is 9. This is one of the questions where students usually make errors. So let's do it in a very simple process. First, we'll find the possible three numbers or three number sets whose sum is equal to 9. They are 1, 2, 6. We have to consider this set. Then the next combinations are 1, 3, 5, 2, 3, 4. Any more? No. This is just it. Since 3 numbers are 3 out of 10 are chosen, thus the, prob the probability of selecting these numbers whose sum equals to 9 are 3 by 10 C3. This comes as 3 by 10 factorial, sorry, 10 factorial by whole divided by 3 factorial into 7 factorial. This equals 3 by 120 and thus equals to 1 by 40. Let's see which is, which is our answer. It is number A. Now, in the next question, we need to find among the following values of A in which fusion reaction is not possible. We will be considering two nuclei with the same mass number A. The mass numbers are given as 15, 29, 22, 36. The answer will be 36. I will tell you why. For the nuclei having this mass number 36, Reaction is not possible because fusion, re fusion reaction occurs in lighter nuclei. Among all other options, nuclei with mass number 36 is comparatively heavier. Thus, fusion reaction will not take place. Thus, we will need to select number D. The time period and amplitude of an object executing simple harmonic motion under the restoring force of a spring are 3.14 seconds and 0.2 meters respectively. If the mass of the object is 2 kg, then the maximum force in Newton exerted by the spring on the objects is 1.6, 4.6, 3.2, 5.2. Let's see how to do this. 
we are given t equals to 3.14 seconds, a equals to 0 0.2 meters and mass equals to 2 kg. Thus we know f max equals to ka which in turn equals to m omega square a m into 2 pi by t which is the formula for omega is a. Now putting in the values 2 into 2 into 3.14 by 3.14 whole square into 0 0.2 and upon calculation the value comes as 1.6 n thus option A is our answer. Now let's do a fun question. We need to match group 1 with group 2. In group 1 we have certain disorders or disease and in group 2 their causes. Let's start with the first one. Epilepsy. Epilepsy is a brain disorder in which there are repeated seizures. It is caused by an uncontrolled electric discharge from the cerebral cortex. Thus from our option number 4 is the answer to B. Now next we will consider Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's disease is the most common form of dementia. It is caused due to decreased production of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. This is responsible for our vital memory and learning. Thus, number 3 is the answer of Q. Next, we will do Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disease. It is caused by the degeneration of dopamine releasing neurons in the substantial nigra, a region deep in the central area of brain. Thus, R is the answer of number 2. And lastly, Huntington's disease. Huntington's disease is a genetically dominant neurodegenerative condition characterized by the progressive loss of motor and cognitive function that is caused by a degeneration of the selected neural populations with the basal ganglia and cerebral cortex that is S and on examination we find that number B will be the option. Please like, subscribe and stay tuned for more such amazing videos.